Hey there, everybody. Thet here, and welcome to Thet Plays Rimworld. That is right. This would be, I don't know, like my eighth or nine Rimworld series. It's been, it's been quite a few. Today, however, we got a, we got a mod set of ready to go. Uh, you, you can see there's a lot of mods in here. Not as many as I've had before. I mean, I've had hundreds, but I think it's about a hundred and somewhere between 130 and 160 in here now something like that but the main one that we're having fun with here today is actually we do have the uh only clothing thing for the clothing because this one doesn't come with clothing either way secure contain rim world is a fun one that i'm planning on uh really utilizing today as well as a couple of others you'll have the full mod list of course in the description which will lead you to the steam workshop where you can get the entire collection and play with it as you would like thankfully it does have the mod manager included which helps you get the mods in the right order because ribworld has really good modding support thank goodness for that all right so let's get started what's the plan for our newest colony well like i said it's going to be a scp focused colony so I've uh, actually took the idea of another scenario I saw in the workshop that didn't load. I'm guessing because it was made for like an alpha version of RimWorld. And I just uh, made some changes to the story here. So basically, the Foundation was investigating into people disappearing in the city of Redacted. Uh, led Foundation personnel to the headquarters of a paramilitary research organization. There was a uh, some hostilities. They had to deploy a... Uh, task force to secure the location they found some kind of arch doorway resembling a wormhole and that there appears to be a planet with breathable atmosphere and signs of life on the other side so the council authorized the creation of a special task force assigned to explore the other side and document their findings you cross over the other side and the portal disappears you start with six people you will uh they'll be within a certain age range and you get 50 package survival meals, 30 medicine, 30 components, 4 automatic rifles, 2 frag grenades, some steel and some wood to start building up your colony. So that's how we're going to start. And now when it comes to the storyteller, someone called it in the Discord. They were totally right on that. We have, we're have we going to be using a storyteller switcher. It's one of the mods that we have. We'll start with Cassie Classic just to start us off uh, with Strive to Survive. And you got to do reload anytime when you have over 100 mods. But... Um, there's a lot of other storytellers here as well that may just decide to pop in to make our lives better or worse. You got Empress Evil here, just believes in the concept of evil, not in the concept of good. Just bad things happen when this storyteller is chosen. We have Nobody, which is apparently the SCP-related one. Uh, very interested in SCPs, will send them your way more than normal for better or for worse. That's interesting. Apparently they are specifically difficult. We got... Uh, Ascipiter? Ascipiter? Maybe it's Ascipiter. Ascipiter accidental. Um, a press agent of Yonwa Precision. Sense of storytelling. Strange sense of storytelling. Yeah, okay. You'll have a thriving colony if you take care of your colonists, and then she'll destroy you. Okay. We have uh, Saren is sadistic. Who likes the story of characters struggling in agony due to overlapping minor misfortunes. Lots of small, annoying events, but less raids. Hildegard Heroic, who I believe is the opposite. More big events, less smaller events. We have Perry Persistent from the Vanilla Expanded. Um, he will constantly keep you on your toes. Every day can bring you to the end of his investigation. So from what I understand, he sends you... Not like major colony destroying events but consistent events you got igor invader who just sends you wave after wave after wave every couple days and we have uh basilicus bestower i honestly don't even remember what mod he's from uh but he has epic ballads that become even more fantastic if everyone has access to psychic powers so he likes the psychics all right like i said we're gonna start with cassie classic and who knows when it will change of course in case you're forgetting, uh, we also have Phoebe, Chillax, and old Randy over here who might pop in to say hi as well. All right. We're going to go ahead and just give us a random seed here for our SCP. You know what? Actually, no. Let's not randomize it. Let's do seed SCP. We'll do a 30% world. I'm not too worried about that uh, when it comes to size. I want a little bit of every tribe here. 
Yeah, all of them. I know you're gonna be mad. We got faction control. I can decide to break all the rules. It's pretty great. Can make it uh, pretty big. Disable faction limits. Heck yeah, we have the GOC over here. The Chaos Insurgency. A couple of SCP enemies. We have the Orion Corporation to deal with. They're always fun. Yeah, we might end up having a good time. It might end up being completely horrible and awful. I honestly do not know. I just know RimWorld is back, baby. Uh, and we're at... Well, we could be at the Red Stump Tiaga. I actually... Now, if you've seen the thumbnail, it's kind of desert-like looking. I kind of want to keep that theme in here and make us a desert-like tile. Although there are SCP Plague Lands over here as well. That's probably not a good idea to start in one of those. But we could venture to one eventually. Um, I do like this area because it's like near an Imperial spot. But I don't know if I want to be bothered with it. You know, how about... Mm. No, my problem is like everyone lives over here. Uh, I guess we could pick a spot over this way, near the long Hethenston, you know? Maybe a desert area with a river? Could work, could work. Yeah, there's a couple of tribes nearby, you know, that's not bad. Yeah, let's, let's do this. This is like right on the cusp of the desert. We'll do that. Ideology system, we're going to be playing with one. We got an ideology ready to go. It's the SCP ideology. Which other, other one would you pick? In case you're wondering. Secure, contain, protect. The narrative is the one of the main texts on the wiki for what the SCP Foundation is. We secure, we contain, we protect. I've decided to make them loyalist, collectivist, questivist, culturedist, which is probably the big one. They desire reading and writing to document their findings and a republic because it makes sense it would have more than one leader. Even though we are a small contingent of the main group, who knows if they'll ever make it home, they'll probably need to set up their own group. Maybe. I don't know. Now, I don't know who these people are, but uh, they got to go. We're going to prepare carefully here. We're going to just kick out everyone over here. Sorry uh, for you there, Hampton and Zippy especially because... Zippy's a great name. But slightly tempted to keep... Light, slightly tempted to keep it, is what I'm trying to say. Good lord. We're gonna load in some characters that uh, I may have already made. And by may have, I mean I I did. I did. I like how we have Silver Man, because I couldn't fit Silver Man in the entire uh, thing for the nickname. I think I could change it actually in the game. So, our doctor here, our uh, head researcher, Dr. Nathan Nyberg, I basically left him with a default randomized name. He was an amateur astronomer turned Navy scientist. I don't want him to be a pyromaniac, though, so I'm just going to change this to something else. I didn't realize I left that as pyromaniac. I changed it for everyone else. Hey, uh, uh, let's see. Stop giving me pyromaniac, damn it. Um, so metabolism, careful shooter, vengeful. He doesn't like shooting. You know what? Why not? Let's see what Vengeful gets us. Uh, okay. That, that works. He doesn't eat as much. That's that's pretty good. So, amateur astronomer turned Navy scientist and then turned a member of the SCP Foundation. Uh, both Nyberg and Perrin over here, because they are the researchers, I made sure they had relatively high certainty because they probably are doing what they do because they believe in it. Whereas everyone else, eh, I let it be whatever the default number is, which seems to be between 79 and 83, which is fine. Now, for our characters, I had just a couple things in mind. Two are researchers, so that would be uh, Nyberg and Perrin. They have high intellectual, and then everyone else is a guard, which means they have relatively decent, either high shooting, high melee, or at least um, a passion in one of those. Just realized nobody has a passion in medical, but Cecil's okay at it, so I guess that'll work. But yeah, yeah, yeah. No implants or anything, so we might not have a quote-unquote balanced team for what you would call a regular RimWorld adventure, but we're just going to have to deal with that, aren't we? We have uh, Perrin Craft over here as our second researcher slash scientist. Uh, sickly child turned army scientist, who is too smart, but has a refined palate. Again, likes intellectual, also likes shooting, just not that good at it. We got Wilgar, Wilgar Silvermane over here. 
in our third position here. Loves shooting, likes melee. There's some extra icons over here that you might not be familiar with. They are uh, extra trait um, signifier. So, for example, he just does not, he's completely apathetic towards construction. Like, just doesn't care. Won't even go up that quickly. See? Passion, apathy. He'll forget it way fast. Whereas with shooting, natural. He's a natural shot. Learns very quickly, but also forgets very quickly. You know? It kind of goes hand in hand. Thankfully, we do have mods that will allow him to train his shooting. Either way, Silvermane, bodyguard, trainee, turn army, sergeant. He's a fighter, thick skin, industrious. He probably got the best roll of traits in the entire colony, but yeah, it's pretty good. We got uh, Vasilla Briggs over here. Mil mid old Sketcher. Give some artistic uh, strength here. And a military gunsmith, combat medic. Also trigger happy, so she'll shoot fast, if nothing else. Likes construction, likes mining, those will be helpful. You know, what's what's this one? Critical. Will not forget. Learn everything else much slower. Ooh, I want to have that with someone. Um, but we'll, we'll do a, a minor in, in that. I'm almost tempted to, like... Yeah, change this to critical. Like, Silvermane... Silvermane is a shootsman. We'll see how that works out for us. Uh, we have Sai Volgari over here. Military cadet turned anarchist rebel. He's an insomniac. He's a lush. Likes the drink. Also a night owl. Also talented in shooting. Uh, I'm going to take away this fire for intellectual, though. Um, I feel like that's just not going to be good for us because that he would learn everything else more slowly. Uh, we'll just make it blank. I think that's fine. He's also... Is he our best socialite? He actually is, which is interesting. Okay. Uh, doesn't do art, doesn't do crafting, doesn't do cleaning. That's fine. And then finally, we have uh, Cecil Kane in the fourth position. We're taking away any uh, conditions or injuries. These people are going to be in quote-unquote peak human condition. So sorry about your arm here. You'll probably get one down the line. He was an abductee, apparently. Uh, forced to do menial labor. And then he uh, became a combat medic later on. He likes spring. He's a defensive fighter. Also has a passion for shooting, just not as good at it yet. I guess he's one of the newer recruits on the shoot side. Uh, thankfully, he's a weak professional when it comes to medicine, because we do need a combat medic on the group, because we don't really have one. And then finally, with the equipment, I'm not adding anything new. I'm going to just stick with what we have in the scenario. Some wood, some steel, grenades, rifles, components, medicine, package survival meals. Let's do it. I'm excited. We're back on the rim, baby. And it ain't gonna be easy. I'm not I'm not playing with kid gloves here. The SCP Foundation began investigations into multiple missing persons reports in the city of Blank, redacted United States. Investigations led the Foundation personnel to the headquarters of a paramilitary research organization currently believed to be funded by Prometheus Labs. The organization refused to cooperate with our investigation and increasing hostilities resulted in the deployment of MTF Gamma 13 to secure the location. Mobile task forces managed to secure the site, suffering moderate casualties, noting that the organization and firepower were far more advanced than current technology. Following a perimeter sweep, Foundation researchers arrived and discovered a device resembling an arched doorway. When powered, this device appeared to open a wormhole or equivalent portal. Initial tests indicated that the other side of the portal contains a planet with breathable atmosphere and signs of life. The O5 Council authorized the creation and utilization of a special task force designed to explore the other side of the portal and document their findings over two days. This assignment included a squad from MTF Beta 4 as well as two researchers. Provisions were provided to create temporary housing if required. Upon crossing the threshold, the device maintaining the portal appears to have malfunctioned, severing the portal and leaving us on a strange new world. Our new assignment, survive and try to find a way back home. Head researcher redacted, which I guess would be Nyberg in this case. All right, we got Rocket Man too, as you can see, it's starting up. Okay, we're here, we're ready. We got uh, Cyanite and Pegmatite, apparently, as well as some limestone near us and com some compacted steel. So let's see how everyone's doing, because right now, looking at our uh, look at our colors up here at the top, uh, our moods are not phenomenal to start with. I'm sorry, did you start with an APB one rifle? Did you all start with one? Because that was a whoopsie. All right, I'm not complaining. I'll take free weapons. Um, I almost feel like I have to. Anyway, low expectations, initial optimism. Uh, it is spring, apparently. It's April, May, so Cecil's happy. Let's see. Psy, neutral. My rivals are alive. Why should they deserve to live? Oh, my. He is going to be... 
he does not like Sai immediately because addict? Oh boy. That's uh he's not even like direct T tollers, which is a little strange, but yeah, that's that's a rough start. Perrin doesn't have a negative at least. Okay. So we got some frags, we got some auto rifles, we got some medicine. The APBs are probably better weapons overall, but we got a simple sidearms, so we can pick them both up. All right. Let's see. Yeah, you you have a regular sidearm right now. Why don't you go ahead and pick up one of those? Everyone else is with an APB rifle, but maybe we'll put those away. We'll see. Actually, wait. Oh, you can just pick it up. I see. I see. Now we're fine. We have 50 food as well to start us off. Well, some wood, some components, and some steel. Mm, apparently... Oh! Apparently Nyberg and Silvermane are already smart enough in their respective fields to know... Let's see if I can get this E in here now. There we are. Uh... <laughs> to get an expertise. So how does that work? Click to jump to the problem. I wouldn't say he's a problem. But how do you how do you do that? Do you go to the star? Ooh, yeah. So expertise allows you to get just a little bit better in some of the traits that you're already building up. So with shooting, he become a sharpshooter, accuracy when firing both high-tech and low-tech range weapons, aiming Expertise uh, when firing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Expertise in accuracy, expertise in aiming, which is the um, warm-up, and then reloading to shoot faster. Let's give him... Yeah, shooting accuracy point one, aiming time down. Verb cooldown factor zero. That sounds awesome. Um, let's... Let's give him better aim. He shoots faster. Oh, that's its own... Wow, that's neat. And with Nyberg, apparently he can become a special type of nerd. Complex drugs, hacking terminals and systems, researching new technologies. He's a researcher. That one was easy. All right. Now that we've done that, let's go ahead and get some basic uh, buildings up, shall we? Um, get me a... Actually, you know what? Let's... We've, we have a room that's partially done here. Let's actually work on this. Here we go. We got the wood right there. Uh, don't... Yeah. We'll do that. Work with what we got first, you know? And then we can work on other things. Uh, I got the right-click menu, which I do appreciate. I guess this will all be our initial home area. We'll, we'll start with that. But yeah, th that's going to be our first... Uh, hey, Nyberg, how we doing over here? It's just kind of overseeing the situation right now. I mean, I think it looks like he's going to be fine mood-wise. It's just not looking great. Vasilla's mood is actually going up because she loves she loves doing work, apparently. Well, no complaints here. This is just like, it's springtime, man. What's not the love? All right, we're going to have to get some work done, though. We got some compacted steel over here. We got some uh, compacted machinery. Got some gazelles. So, uh, you know, SCP log, we got some regular animals over here. Some cyanite. Got an emu. Everyone hold on to your butts. We got uh, the Prisoner's tab, which might end up being useful. We have an SCP over here. SCP-160. A living quadcopter drone that hunts small animals. True. Okay. So, uh, yeah, there it is. Hopefully we don't have to kill it right away, but you never know. All right, now that we got that done, let's make some... Let's make an initial stockpile zone over here. We'll make this good size room our initial stockpile. Uh, let's make a dumping stockpile zone as well, outside. Just for now. All right, at least this is actually a pretty good start as far as surviving goes. Okay. While we're here, let's go ahead and just turn these into proper rooms as well. There we go. This... This can probably come down. All right. That was actually a pretty phenomenal start. We do need to deal with, or at least we're eventually going to need to deal with, uh, eight without table problems, but we can deal with that in a little bit by building a couple tables. I think we have the stuff for it. We also have LTS furnishings, which are 
other types of tables? Did you ever want a sturdy table that will uh, withstand the test of time? This is not that table. But uh, it's a table with a strange Scandinavian name, and that is much better. <laughs> kind of want to build it just for that lovely description. <laughs> that is great. Uh, you can make fire pits. Nice. Fireplaces. Hey, you got some good stuff here. You can make some actual arch doors. Yeah, we got a lot of neat stuff. Extra furniture. Regular furniture. Uh, we do need to start with a table, and a 2 by is actually a perfect start here. So you know what? Get me the wooden Norarian. There we go. And you have some chairs in this section, too? Yeah, you do. You have the, uh... I, I don't even... I don't know why they have strange Scandinavian... It's like that's built into the mod description. And I'm not sure why. I just know they are. Give me some square chairs. Hey, look, there's enough space to make a chair for everybody. This is actually a really good start. Probably get some light in here, too. Genetics, power, security, cavalry spikes, shields. We're probably going to need to make these pretty soon. You know. Be able to do some proper flooring, some recreation. Give me a simple... Uh, do we have... Are we out of wood already? Maybe. Well, here's hoping we got enough uh, cactus to make some wood. We do have cacti around. They look nice, though. Got some visual mods making that happen. Is that gold? That's straight up gold. All right. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Vasilla gonna build us a nice table. There you go. It is nice. Look at that. You can zoom all the way in and it still looks nice. That's well done. Hey, we do have a couple of... Dot Perrin, you okay? He's cloud watching? All right. We do have a couple of extra, like, events that we can do. Our first quarter review. The annual foundation review. review. I can say words. I swear I've done it before. And the mid-year review as well. Now, these are all just good things to start with. Start with knowing. About what we can and can't do. We got temperature stuff. We got gardening tools. We got storage. We do have deep storage, which is very nice, by the way. Probably, probably one of my favorite mods, just because it, it it adds a lot and it looks good. It, there's a lot going for it. Let's just put it that way. Now, production. That's what we need to look at. What is it going to take to make our first research station? Because you know that's going to be the important part. Steel and wood and a room this big. All right. Well, that's where we're going to build it. We do need more wood already, believe it or not. So, let's get some more wood. Are there any trees around here? There are some, there are like a few trees. Not much. That's uh, ancient centipede cells. Good things I have to research here. Uh, we're also, of course, going to need beds. And we don't have enough room for beds for everyone, so we're going to have to build a whole new structure, too. Concrete foundation. Foundations are structure... Our structures are built on mud, quicksand, etc. Okay. They allow for easier building in desert and swampy biomes. You can't put floors on top of foundations. Good to know. Good to know. Okay. Well, we're probably going to have to build a proper barracks for the soldiers. And by probably, I mean we are gonna have to, so... Let's just plan on a... Like a 7x7 seven seven place. For them. Hmm, maybe we should build it out of steel. I mean, we do have... 425 steel here. How much would it take to build that? Kinda fine walls, eh? Nice. All right, regular steel walls. Oh, yeah, we could, we definitely have enough to build this. Okay. With a steel door as well. Uh, you know, how about, the fa how about a fancy door? Mm, how about a simple fancy door? Yeah. That's the sauce. And then we'll just do some kind of easy... Man, there's a lot of nice-looking floors here. Kind of nice freaking mods that I pick. Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just do... 
basic concrete right now. We're, we're surviving here at the moment. You know? We still don't have any beds built. And it's almost nighttime, so perfect start of the day. Actually, you know what? Go to all and type in bed and see what comes up. Aha. We have a Hemnes bed. Huh? Is it better? 105, 110, 100. Basic bed. 110. Oh, what about the wood version? Yeah, it is a little better. Hmm. There's a hanging bed. Not as cozy as a regular bed, but better than the floor. Often used for that prison feel. <laughs> All right. Well, I need cloth for those, and I don't need cloth for a wooden bed, so... We're gonna try to build a couple of beds, get those out of the way. Still need more wood. So, start killing more cacti when we can. Fortunately, or unfortunately, that's basically all the cactus is good for. All right, Vasilla's doing all the construction, is that... Yeah, that's, that's how it is. Uh, Nyberg, you can do some construction help. Sai, you're good enough to do something, too. We'll go and we'll break this down into, like, you know, the numbers. The advanced research tab. Yeah, yeah priorities. We'll, we'll break that down into the priorities later. Right now, I just want to make sure that we're getting some baseline stuff done, you know? Alright, very cool, very cool. This is going to be an ugly-ass room, but that doesn't matter. And they're sleeping on the floor. I mean, it's a start. Oh, no! Sai, you goofed up the research vent bench, my dude. That's awful. It's like the one thing we did not need broken up. Nyberg, of course, is in a bad mood. He is fairly likely to break first. Let's be real. Which is too bad, because he is our prime researcher. But when, he, when we get to the point where he can research... There's some schist for you. When we get to the point where he can actually do some research, he'll be very happy. Because, one, we have a lot of things to research. And, two, it's a passion of his. So that should help a lot. You know, what do, what do you start with here? Mythic? Mythic Neolithic? I mean, it sounds fun to say. Got some uh, questionable ethics stuff. We got some SCP stuff, of course. I say, uh, what do we have in terms of power? Nothing. Wow. We, yeah, we gotta we gotta learn how to make this stuff ourselves first. Tranquilizers would be a good idea. Reinforced walls and doors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But apparently, we don't know how to make the more advanced power even. So we got a ways to go here. Let's learn how to make solar panels. We're in the desert, so that should be helpful. And let's put uh, batteries in the queue. That way, you know, we'll be able to start kicking things into higher gear eventually. All right, all right. Once that's done... A couple of beds for our peeps. We'll have a nice, solid foundation going on. Um, The little things over here... It can open doors. This this SCP could just go in and out and open doors all at once. What in the world? Okay. I mean, eventually we can go after wildlife. This thing is a predator. It's very small, though, so it probably won't hunt us. No quest yet, of course, but that's okay. Man, I wish you had, like, a... Oh, boy. Slept in the darkness. Well, slept in the cold. Also in the darkness. In the cold? The brisk 17 out, man. You're okay. That wasted wood, I think, hurt us way more than I realized. Sai, what are you doing? Oh, he's breaking this apart. It's a good way to train his skill, so that's good. And he's going to try to put together one of these beds. Okay. And he fricked it up. All right. Thanks, Vasilla. Okay. Maybe we should just have her do all the building right now. Um, Actually, Nyberg's better at building than Sai. At least he didn't frick up the bed. You know? Uh, 75 wood for that. Yeah. That, the bed's more important. You know, you gotta think of your hierarchy of needs. What's the most important thing? 
not eating without table. But after that, what's the most important thing? And it's going to be a place to sleep and a roof over your head. I mean, we're knocking out the normal stuff, which I appreciate. Oh, of course, Vasilla, our best constructionist, made the poor bed. All right, well, this is Nyberg's. It's an awful room, but it's small and it's a start. And this is an awful barracks. So, we'll get this one built. Don't screw it up, Sai. We need more wood. Once again, we need more wood! Please! Hey, a lot of cacti around here to destroy. He hasn't goofed it up yet. He's throwing it. Uh, he did it. And parents already started researching. All right, that's awesome. She loves doing that too, so it's a big mood boost for her. Actually, Nyberg's mood went back up too. Decent rec room. Oh, okay, they like this room. It'll be better when we have a proper floor in here, but the fact that they like it right now is great. Normal bed. All right, well, this one's parents. Okay. Yes, these rooms suck for now. I know. <laughs> you don't have to tell me what I already know. And we don't really have a good source of light either. Yet. Oh, I could do a wood fire generator. I guess we have turbines as well. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I guess we do have a couple of options for that. Hmm. Structures. No, no, no. Furniture? I think that's where lighting is. There's a torch lamp. Bamboo torch lamp. Lantern post. Yeah, these all take power. I mean, the fireplace wouldn't. We don't have enough schist for this, unfortunately. But it would look nice. Yeah, maybe we should. I mean, I don't know where we get more schist. We get pegmatite walls. With some deconstruction orders over here. For all this stuff. Anything else around here? There's a lot of there's a lot of old tanks. Interesting, interesting. Uh, this is steel, I believe, which we can't use for a fireplace, but we could use. It's a good chance to explore while we're here. I thought everybody would be sleeping, but apparently not. It's not a complaint, just an observation. All right, we have 221 steel. It's easy enough to get more steel, honestly. Aaron, your mood's looking... I mean, your mood is fine. You just slept in an awful bedroom. Actually, we're doing surprisingly okay, all things considered. People don't like the awful barrack. Uh, Sai has alcohol withdrawal. Feeling shaky. Everything pisses him off. Uh, that's gonna be rough. We're gonna have to deal with that somehow. Oh, yeah. He does not look happy. All right, let's try making a... Oh, we can do a fire pit, too, if we wanted to, like, put it in the middle of a room. But I kind of like the idea of uh, a pigmentite fireplace right here on the wall. And then later we could put in a fire pit somewhere, you know? Ooh, that's big. That's less big, but eh. All good, all good. So research has already started on solar panels. We're going to learn how to at least power ourselves here soon. How much uh, pegmatite do we need? 80? How much do we got? Not 80. I, that, two? It's worth two? Can we cut? <laughs> Can we do stone cutting? Do we know how to do that? Or are we too dumb still? Um, no, we know how to do that. Thank God. At least then we can make some proper things. Uh, I know I have to put this in a room eventually. But for now, we'll just put it outside. We're going to need a butcher table eventually. We're going to need a stove. We're probably going to want to start planting, but problem with that is we don't have a lot of fertile space. Most of it's over here. That's that's a little bit of a problem, needless to say. All right, but let's let's make ourselves a quick growing zone. Grow something fast. Like rice. Always a uh, nice, strong, quick start. Assuming I can find it. There it is. All right. Perrin's going to put that down for us. She's got a four in plants. She's the only one who does plant cutting, too. Oh, boy. 
Hmm. You have a foreign plants. You have a foreign plants. Yeah. Everyone can help plant, actually. It's the plant cutting where things get a little bit funky. You know? All right, we got some idle colonists here. Let's go ahead and make any stone blocks until we have, like... Ooh, not that many. Eh, 400. Yeah. Just start making stone blocks. Size at a major break risk. Well, he is a night owl. We should probably fix that as well. Schedule. So, Psy, between, like... 11 and 18, I think it is. I honestly don't remember. That's a guess. What are your hours? 11 and 18. All right. Yeah, go to bed. Unload your inventory and go to bed. Or don't. Whatever. I mean, his rest is pretty high right now. It's at 92. So we're cutting up cyanite instead, huh? All right. That's fine. As long as it's something we have. Actually, a nice uh, red fireplace would look sick. So, sure, do that up. Actually, it's going to be more pink, but it'll still look good. That'll give us some light in this room. Now we're going to need some light over here. And I guess the only thing we really have is a torch lamp. So, we'll put one up right there. Just as a little starter. Unfortunately, size not more tired. Which does kind of suck. Because if he was, we could make use of that. Does anyone do mining yet? Mm, Perrin can do mining. Vasilla has a small passion for it. Cecil's good enough to do it. Why does Perrin have all the skills, like all the skills unlocked, but freaking everyone else has like an equivalent level of it? It's weird, right? Get some mining. Wasn't there... There's a visitor already? Okay. I don't want to mine the gold. If I touch the gold, the gold becomes part of our value, and that hurts the colony. And by that, I mean bigger raids. Uh, we have, from the Bia Bruin Union, Turtle. Hi, Turtle. How you doing? Nice beard. Uh, he's a pantheus. He's a clumsy snob. Apparently, he considers uh, plant work critical to his passions. He's a part of the Blazing Eaters. Oh, a cannibal group. Okay. Who worships fire. Very cool. They're also egalitarian about it, so they eat everyone equally. Good for them. Good for them. Looking forward to this fireplace. Okay, we got a little bit of light in here. This is going to keep Nyberg happy for a bit, I think. We do need to work on their rooms, but we're going to do that. That's just going to come in time. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll make things better. Don't you worry. Chop more wood, please. I need this. So what's the plan? What's, like, the overarching plan? And I think the overarching plan... It's going to be to do research, yes. I, I believe there is a, a way to... not leave the planet on a ship. And another way to kind of get things going. We might do... I don't know. Could be the Empire, could be something else. I'm probably not going to do the regular ship ending, or at least move toward that. I just don't... I don't see that being the way we go for now. Yeah, so now it's nighttime. Sai's mood is a lot better. He's still got some major alcohol withdrawal going, though. And that is hurting him. But... He'll probably be fine. <laughs> Hopefully. It is nice to have a night owl, though on this group, because now we have someone who's, you know, taking the night watch. While everyone else sleeps, he guards. Cecil has inspired cooking. we cook twice as fast for the next eight days. Alright, is he good at it? Not really. <laughs> okay. Still, I guess it would be nice to be able to cook. Um, let's see what we have for that. I mean, I guess we'll have the fueled stove for now. It's the main one we have. They did get us that steel very quickly. Which I appreciate. So with that in mind, why don't we go ahead and pave tile up this spot. Actually, all of this can be pave tiled. Bedrooms can be something else. We've got asphalt, too. Very easy to traverse. 
Oh, it doesn't give a negative like uh, concrete does. Huh. Well, that's good to know. I should. I mean, it does cost a little bit more, but it's probably worth it. Okay, let's do... Let's do tiles in here, too. And then the outside will be asphalt. You know? Just for starters. But yeah, we'll give uh, Cecil a place to cook. Then we need to give him stuff to cook with, and I don't know what's here. Maybe some agave if we have with what else we've seen. Uh, there's some berry bushes. Can I select all of them? There are 35 on the map. That is, or 36. That's not a lot. Oh boy, that is not a lot at all. All right. So we're going to harvest as many berries as we can. Uh, there's some beehives. All right. Select them all. There are two beehives. They're great. I mean, it is better than none. Ancient razor wire over here. And, of course, the animals. Was this... Oh, was this killed by the SCP? It was. Ah, uh, Sai's gone on an insulting spree. He has decided to chase around Vasilla and insult her while she builds asphalt. The asphalt actually looks really nice. Okay. Well, obviously, our people are not getting along super well right in this minute. Okay. So now we have this. We can cook simple meals. We can cook lentils. And now they're fighting. Yay. Should keep us at like 10 simple meals. Well, this is what you get. So I, oh my god, she kicked his ass. He didn't land a single blow on her. Which makes, you know, actually makes sense considering uh, he drunk as hell. Or no, he's withdrawn as hell. He's the opposite. He wishes he was drunk as hell. Then he wouldn't go on a freaking mood spree. Hey, Nyberg's making some food. Nice. Alright, those will last for four days. Which will probably get eaten way before then, too, so that works. That's right, Nyberg's the one who likes to cook the most, and he's the best at it, technically. Okay, now we need a butcher spot, which I think is exactly what we're going to make. Yeah. We'll just butcher him out here for now. We'll make a proper spot for it later. All right. We got food. Hey, we got a fireplace. Look at that. 50 wood apparently gives it uh, 10. Oh, you could cook meals here, too. Well, spoot, man. Cook them here. Hey, we got honey, too. Nice. Well, then, in that case, get rid of this stove. We'll cook simple meals at the fireplace. Yeah. I'll probably be a little bit more efficient in the short run. Plus, we could put a storage bin somewhere over here. Let's see. Storage. Do we have, like, a... We have a food basket. Problem is, it's a size 2. I'd rather have a size one place to put food. We could also make the refrigerators already. Which is helpful. Eh. We do need to use those components eventually. Alright, Sai, how are you recovering over here? <laughs> it's pretty rough. Pretty rough for him right now. Yeah, this room's slightly impressive. The kitchen's all right. Feeling it over here. And, uh, Cecil, you loving these blocks, huh? I can see that. Seem to be having a lot of fun with that. I guess Cyanite is going to be our current building block of choice. Hopefully they're, it's a relatively strong wall. 480, that's pretty good. Ain't granite, but it's good. Okay. Let's make a small-ish room for now. There we go. Uh, I made that a little shorter than I wanted to, actually. Do that. That's the size I want it. Okay. Then we can put a door right here. Please understand. Steel door will be fine. I like it. I like it a bit. 
rice is 26% grown. It's going to take some work. You know what I haven't done and I need to is claim uh, all the stuff here. That way they'll repair it. There we go. That'll be better. Yeah, everyone is fine-ish. <laughs> Size recovering. Slowly but surely. This icon indicates the mod settings have not been configured yet. That's okay. Basic settings are fine. For simple sidearms. I can live with that. But yeah, I want to put in some, like, proper flooring over here eventually. I don't know when that's going to be able to happen. But eventually it will. And of course we need some... Mild entertainment over here. Take down this acacia. It's just a little bit of extra wood. All right. How how we doing here? This room barracks is almost completely done. It's a fine start. We are not getting research done very quickly, and that's because of the way people are kind of having to go through things, but we did... Looks like we did get uh, solar done. Okay. And now we have the power of solar. So we're gonna use it. There we go. Get three panels going. Be a fine start. And eventually we'll transform this room into something else, or we'll just tear down this wall here and make a different area for storage. That would also be cromulent. This gazelle never got done. Oh well. That's too bad. Uh, okay, since it looks like you'll be here for a while, Nyberg thinks you should give your faction a name. Dang it, I never picked up what the planet's name was. That last guy should have told us. Ah well. This is our faction name, so uh, well, our faction is, you know, SCP Foundation. I guess I wouldn't put the in front of it. Yeah. And this place... What, do you, what should this place be called? Solidarity Town? Uh, Leterthi by the Prairie? That's a fun name. I will say that. Blackjack Dale. Roulette Worth. It Fun. Oh yeah, I like that one. I'm gonna call it It Fun. Because that's what RimWorld is, right? It Fun. It's a dumb name, but I'm going with it now. Welcome to Itfun. Alright, it's a story about losing. It's fun. I mean, I'd prefer not to, but if we have to. Uh, major break risk. Big shockers. Uh, is it Psy? It's Psy. At this point, I just assume he's gonna have a hard time. Don't worry about the butchering for now. We're not even hunting right now. This room almost got done very quickly. Cecil, what you making here? Slate? Nice. The Watto Confederation. Group of travelers passing by. Hey, how y'all doing? Sai is uh, going to destroy a pistol. Yeah. Uh, Silvermane, you ain't doing nothing. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and say the fuck he is. Confirm. Stop. In the name of the law. Why were you holding 492 silver? Prison labor mod introduction. I don't... This is not really the right time to need it. You need to enable a prisoner labor in the prisoner tab. Then you need to adjust the work priorities in the work tab. And then you need to make sure that people are watching them. Yeah, yeah. I get that. Designing a prison encampment. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. We may have to use prison labor in the future. I understand this. I do. Uh, okay. Forced to work, work and recruit, work and convert. Yeah, yeah, release him. Hey. Great, come on, you dumbass. There we go. Alright, I'm assuming that's just going to keep his mood low, but... Well, no, I did give him catharsis, so that's good. At least now he won't be breaking our pistols. Alright. Yeah, let's get some power. Now, I mean, it's nighttime, so it was the worst time to get power, but hey, we got some power now. Now we can run conduits around here and put some actual lighting in some of these areas. And light this room over here. 
Okay, we are still working on fuses or batteries. Fuses will be next. Bumper. Clear unwanted insects. Oh, you could use that to keep the in insectoids away. Queue up basic fuses. Yeah, circuit breakers are going to be way farther down the line, which is fine. Which is fine. Price is at 41%. Oh, I mean, we have 10 simple meals. We're good on that front. I guess we're doing all right, really. Size working on this one spot here. He got it. Everyone it bothered everyone, but he got it. I'll take what I can get, you know? Okay. Let's throw up some simple storage over here for these things. Um, a pallet would be freaking great. Does not protect against the weather. Actually, you could still put that outside. Um... Yeah, put a pallet right here. We'll start putting completed things on that pallet. I wonder when the storyteller is going to change, or how often it changes. I might have to look into the settings for that, because I didn't really touch the settings too much for anything. You know, we're just getting started. I kind of wanted to, to see where things were going to go, how things were going to look. Right now... Except for Sai screwing up the building of a damn fuse. Things are going pretty... Pretty okay. Basila seems to be the only one who can reliably build anything worth a damn, but I guess that is what it is. Now, there is some research we're gonna have to... Other research we're gonna have to do. Let's see, what do we have? Waste disposal, modern furniture. We are gonna need to learn writing. This will allow us to actually write books to allow other people to learn things. So I want that on the docket. I mean, there's a lot of fancy stuff down here. I need some basic things, though. Quick draw weapons, non-lethal weapons. That could be useful later. Genetic research. Sample turrets. Let's see, Rimsonal stuff. Mythic prosthetics. Vanilla turrets. Nah. It's got to be somewhere in here that I'm looking for. Hydroponics, IEDs, machining, gunsmithing, which will be useful eventually. Hopefully we'll be able to get some recruits, because uh, having some people that know some other things would be nice right about now. Biosculpting, climate control, security glass. It's very advanced stuff down here. I don't even know what an MS belt is. Magnetic belt, apparently. Terrain rehabilitation. Make underground greenhouses. That's neat. Huh. Let's see. Looking for gene trainer repurposing. There should be a way to be able to allow us to train. But I don't know which one it's going to be. Off the top of my head. Probably not tree sowing. But that would be helpful to know, too. Sterile materials. That'll be useful. Geothermal reactors. There are some vents around. There usually are, so... I'm pretty sure I saw some. So we should be good there. Can make some shields. Can learn how to fabricate. Fabrication gives us exoskeleton frames. Fancy! Okay. That actually sounds pretty cool. For something down the line. You know, here's smithing. That allows to remake some of the equipment, it looks like. Yeah, I think we need to get smithing on the docket, too. That gives us a lot of this defensive stuff we need. Or at least that we want. What is this? Prestige plate armor. Mmm, fancy. For the fancy boys around. You know, if you need it. Yeah, prosthetics will be really good. And there's a lot of vanilla expanded stuff that we can eventually go after. Modern furniture. Basic electronics. Farming techniques. You know, a scarecrow. Keeps small animals away. It's actually... I laugh, but that would actually be useful. Eventually. Mass drivers. That could be fun. 
you know, for the future. Man, I, I know there's a way... I know we got a mod for training. I just don't know how to utilize it yet. Oh well. It's fine. We'll find it in time. It's like we do with every uh, everything else when I tend to add, like, way too many... Look at this circle carpet. Well, okay, fine. I don't have the material for it. You got me, game. You're right. I tried to build a thing before I had all the things for it. Watch it be right. It is right here. Ah, it's so dumb sometimes. Uh, yes. Get me a combat dummy. You know, make me a steel one. Alright. You can apparently use it for both melee and shooting skills. Containment room. Ah! So this is how you make a containment room for SCP purposes. Okay. That's good to know, because eventually we're probably going to want to try to... Oh, we got knocked down! This SCP-160 almost got destroyed. Hey, um... Perrin, can you come tend to this thing? See if you could fix it. Because it's going to quote-unquote bleed out. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's not going to bleed out anymore. It's going to take a while to... Oh, oh God, a, a raid. Run. Treaty of Barrow Cotone. Barrow Cotone. It's come on. He, he does not look happy. Look at his face. Healthy routines, fast learner, lush. Should we have a lush fight? No, Silvermane doesn't have anything to do. Let's give him something to do, shall we? Side, did you pick up your weapon? No, you didn't. Go pick up your weapon, dude. Ooh! Yo! They randomized the solar generators, so they look different. That is awesome. I love the fact that it can do that. Anyway. Hey! Who the hell are you? Oh, and the uh, icon showing what gun they have shows up down here now. We do have running gun, of course. And we have search and destroy. Holy shit, Silvermane. One shot? Uh, Sai, I got some news for you. We got beer. Good God! One shot right through the brain. He's like, holy shit, beer. Immediately goes to drink it. <laughs> gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. I need it! Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Used recreational drug. It was, a, it was an offense against my beliefs. Did I? Oh, medicinal use only is the regular thing, but... That's all right. It went from 13 to... Or it went from negative 35 to negative 15. That is... Plus the alcohol warmth gives him 20. It's worth it. It is totally worth it. He probably gives no shits. But yeah. That's good stuff. Uh, hey. Grab some grenades as a sidearm. Silvermane, so, you do that too. Thank you. Get some out of inventory for one. Okay, here. I want to put stone blocks in here, please. Stack them up. Thank you. Up to eight stacks. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, this dude dead? I guess we bury him? I mean, we don't have to, but... Yeah, just shove him over here. Vasily, you're not doing anything. You can do this. There we go. And... I, got, I think I need to go to storage. Human-like. Yeah, that should work. Yeah, just shove him in there. Sai, of course, is doing the burial because he's grateful for this person. After all, this person did bring him beer. Thank you, friend. Thank you for the beer. Okay, that worked out. Shockingly well. I like these designs. These are sick. Oh, you could change them, too. Like, this is the default one. Uh-huh. It, it just... Okay, it does a random one. I see. I kind of want all of the hexagon ones. You know? Can I make that happen? Yeah. Ooh, I like that one, too. Um, Give me all hexagons. I don't have a reason to want this. I just do. There you go. Neat. Can I change the graphic of this? I can. 
Yo. Some of them are more basic than others, I'll say that much. Okay, give me the one with... Yeah, I don't know what these tanks are, but I want them. I want them now, so... Can't take them away from me. Okay, we have electricity now, so I guess we need some lamps with end tables. How much wood do we have? 49? Not enough for everybody to have one, but... You know. There's a start. Should throw a dresser over here. Yeah, put it in the corner. That makes more sense. To me. Actually, put it... Put it up here. Okay. That's a start. Hey, hey, hey. I can set these for ranged or melee, but I'm going to set them to, to ranged. Okay, so now Silvermane during the day, in theory, should have something to do. Which is... Train his shooting skill. So that'll be nice. Rice is growing. It's at 57. How's food situation? Four simple, four packaged. Uh, let's hide the four packaged for now. Or not hide it, but, you know, forbid it. Because they don't need to be eating that right this minute. Oh, he's training! All right, then. Ah, that's how it works, huh? We're gonna have to... Oh, wait, we're automatically expanding the home area. Please stop doing that. <laughs> okay, that down there should not be home area. It's fine for this to be home area. But outside of that, no. So... Short this up just a little bit. Here we go. Yeah. And no home area here, because that, yeah, he doesn't need that. But that'll make sure that we end up repairing that thing, too. He did get a shooting level up from it. And now he's repairing it, which will work on his construction skill. Awesome. He learns very slowly, and he forgets very quickly, so he's not really great at that. Which is too bad. Okay, now we got all of our blocks in one place, which is great. We do have the ability to make weapon racks, too, so we should probably do that. Mm. For storing in an aesthetically pleasing manner. Um, I don't think I want to put the weapons outside. I was thinking about it. We finally deconstructed the stove, which I think is fine. We do need to make more food, though, eventually. Requires a cooking skill of six. Ah, crap. Of course nobody's good enough. All right, cook simple meals. Do it until we have ten. Move this up. One or the other. Stop eating raw food. I think that was pemmican, not raw food. But still. Diaper, do we have anything to cook? Yeah, cook. We have berries. Cook them. Whoa, God, Cecil. That's a loud-ass weapon, dude. And I can see that we need to move it somewhere else. Because, uh, yeah. How, how wide's the home area? Up to here? Here? Move this up to here. Okay. Jeez. I mean, he is building skill from doing that. That's great. Yeah, let it get repaired. Every once in a while. All right. So... We're uh, eight days, so we're that was the first week so far of the colony it fun from our uh, our little SCP organization here. So that is going to be it for this first episode of that plays Rim World Secure Contain Protect or Secure Contain Rim World. I don't know which one should I call it, but if you enjoyed it. Please let me know by giving it a good old like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more. Because it'll keep coming. Oh, it'll keep coming and it won't stop coming. I don't know where we're going yet, but we're going to keep going. Uh, and also, we are probably going to get new uh, new colonists here in the future. I don't know how many. Depends on what the storytellers feel like giving us. But if you want to be part of that, make sure to let me know down in the, uh, the comment section. We're only really... Well, we only started with fighters and researchers but who knows what we'll end up with you know 10 20 200 episodes down the line you never know thanks again for watching this episode of rim world scp 
My name is Thet, and I'll see you in the next video. Everybody owes.